video before, but I have a lot more free time now. And I got sent these Hourglass Foundation and Setting Powder, powder Sets. Well, that is a mouthful, shoot. I've never owned my own foundation before, so I'm pretty excited about this. I always steal them from my mom, and she's three shades lighter than I am, but I just try to make it work. This is the first one that I've owned myself, and hopefully it's my color, because I chose it online. We're gonna find out right now, so... Oh, I love the triangle shape. Wow. This color is in a golden tan. I think I'm golden tan. Definitely golden. Definitely brown. So I'm gonna use this stick, but since I don't really know how to use foundation, I got a beauty blender, and we'll see if that works out. <laughs> We're gonna try. I really like how smooth it is though. This is really nice. Oh my goodness! This is my color, right? Right? I don't know. I have to go out into the sun, but this, this looks pretty good. I think I'm just gonna go for a very light coat. I don't really need to cover a lot. Are you supposed to put foundation on your eyelids? Because I never put them on my eyelids. Am I supposed to? No one really tells me to. I've never read in any magazines that they're supposed to. Just, just to be safe, I'm going to put it on my eyelids, okay? And you're supposed to blend your neck too, right? Okay, let's do my neck. Let's try it. I honestly love the way this applies. And the good thing about this is if you try to squeeze out foundation in a bottle, you're never going to get the entirety of it. There's always gonna be a little bit left in like the corner that you can't even reach or you're going to have to like open it up and then scrape it out. But this one, since it's in stick form, you know you're able to reach all of it. You can just kind of scrape it out with your nail. This is actually really nice. I'm so excited, wow. I really enjoy, I really hope it's my color. But it's very seamless, very smooth, and you know you're not gonna waste any of the product when you're finished with it. How much product is in this anyway? Let's find out. Still going, still going, and that's it. So yeah, so you get this much product. And if you ever reach the end, you can just like scrape off the rest of it. So none of it is a waste. Now that the foundation's done, we're gonna go off with the setting powder. I really like how this looks. There's a little H for hourglass. I love the look of it and how that there's like a little dome underneath so it holds in all of the product. And the gold is really nice. It has great packaging. Makes me really happy whenever I open it. And you see your own reflection in this too. I got this. I got this. Oh, okay. Whew. I had to hold my breath for that one. Here's my face. Here's the... Is that a thing? No, I don't know. Is that what people do? I don't know. Coverage wise, I put a very small amount and I can still see my moles, which is fine. I actually really like my moles and I don't want them to be covered. Based on coverage, it seems like it's like to medium, but if you pile it on, then yeah, you could definitely do more. I don't know how good this is for baking purposes because I don't know how to bake, but honestly, it gets the job done. It makes it go very seamlessly. It has a matte finish. It doesn't feel sticky at all. And I think it's a pretty good price point. I mean, if you're going to be buying these foundations at Sephora or Ulta, all of them are around the same price range from like $40 to $70. If you're only going to have this as a one month use, then it gets a little pricey. But for photos, this is really nice. It makes the skin very even and the lighting, um, whatever that is, it makes your face look light and bright and even. So. There's that. I really hope you enjoyed watching my first review video. I have a lot more things that I want to review that I'm really excited about. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, thanks for watching my video again, and there you go.